How's it going this week, guys? I know my family has enjoyed the shorter school week. That extra little bit of rest was super refreshing having that day off. Now, all this week, we're talking about community with our pastors in our Five for Fives, the importance of community in the life of a believer, and even the role of community in our mission for the kingdom as well. Jason and Brooks both have had shared some really great passages and some great insight this week. So I encourage you guys to go back, check them out on YouTube if you haven't already seen them. Uh, I want to build on those ideas with an observation that I've made over the years. Now, with our students and in some of the fitness groups that I've been in in the past few years, um, we do a goal sheet at the beginning of each year. I think I've shared this with you guys actually on our Five for Fives. We use Luke 2.52 as the outline for that goal sheet. And the passage tells us that Jesus increased in wisdom and in stature and in favor with God and man. Now, this scripture gives us four areas in our lives where we should be setting goals. Growing in wisdom is an intellectual goal we set for ourselves. Growing in stature is the physical goal we set, which honestly is most people's focus with New Year's resolutions. And guys, we all know that those New Year's resolutions are rarely achieved for a variety of reasons. And with all four of these goals, we strive to set specific attainable goals when we do these sheets and we come up with action plans um, on the paper we set some deadlines we even write down who's going to help hold us accountable for those action plans and ultimately the deadlines as well but the passage isn't done there yet right in addition to our mind and our body luke 252 challenges us to grow in our spiritual health as well and those three are hard to work out the specifics for but you'll be amazed at how much more attainable those goals are when you go through the whole process, right? Setting action plans, all that kind of stuff, and you put in the work ahead of time. Now, the final area, though, is where most people struggle in this goal-setting process and where they struggle most hitting that goal. That is growing in favor with man. It's our relational goals, how we get better in our relationships with each other and, and those that are around us. And that's exactly what community is, our interactions and our dependence on other people in our circles. So why do you think it's so hard to come up with a single relational goal as we do this process? Because I think oftentimes we underestimate how important community is in our lives. I've also noticed that guys have a harder time coming up with a relational goal than most ladies. Now, I think there is something in how they are each wired to interact. Now, I'm not going to dare speak for ladies because I've learned that's not a good idea. But I can totally speak for guys. We are fine having a ton of acquaintances, guys that are around us that we know by name, but we stink at developing relationships with other guys. Everyone is kept at arm's length, and most conversations are about work or the weather or a sporting event or even our kids. But is that really community? Acquaintances are fine, but as Brooks said on Monday, we are designed to need more than just acquaintances to operate well. We need quality relationships, quality interactions. And I've always told my kids that they will know a lot of people in life, but if they have two or three people they can really call a friend, then they're doing well and they should count their blessings, right? Maybe you realize this week through our five for fives that you are missing the quality relationships. They're going to help you grow and mature in your faith and in your life. Maybe you have lots of friends, but no brothers or sisters ready to walk through adversity with you. Don't let this week wrap up guys without making a goal for more quality relationships in your life. Proverbs 17, 17 is an amazing piece of wisdom as it reminds us that a friend loves at all times and a brother is born for adversity. Guys, whatever it is that you're facing, you aren't designed to face it alone. God has woven community into us and we need to find it and embrace it, that community. You guys have a great rest of your week and we'll see you all real soon.